Hello, thank you for coming to these videos again. Today I'll talk about my hobby. Uh, of course, I've talked before on this channel about chess. I had uh, played chess in high school. I talked about um, Boy Scouts, Boy Scouts where I spent from my formula of years from six years old until 18 years old uh, in Boy Scouts. Today I'm going to talk about J ROTC or ROTC or R O T C. Uh, so, and we nicknamed it usually ROTC. So what it is, of course, is I was in my high school, um, Air Force, uh, Junior ROTC, Reserved Officer Training Corps. My father wanted, uh, sorry, my father, my uncle, my uncle once was in the Air Force when he was young, and I really looked up to the uncle. So since I was young, I always wanted to join uh, the military, and I, I made it my focus. That's why I joined Boy Scouts for so long. I also joined Red Cross uh, for several years, for at least four years, and that's why later in high school, I became part of the J RTC or the Junior ROTC program. So what it means is, is like this in America, depends on your high school. Uh, my high school had Air Force, so I, even if they had Army or Navy, I would have joined whatever they had. So my high school had Air Force J RTC. Air Force Junior ROTC program, so Reserved Officer Training Corps. So you can see like this, I would have to go to school at least once a week dressed like this. I would also inspect my other classmates. There was five classes of 30 kids each in the whole high school, so about 150 kids in our program. And uh, my high school was 1,200 kids, so about 13% of the school was in this uh, program. And the point is simple. If you want to eventually go to the American military, so I was in Boy Scouts, and I always wanted to go to the military. It would help for, pay for my college, but also I just love the military, that you'll join this program, as I'll show here. So you'll dress like this once a week. That was the embarrassing part for me. But uh, you'll learn a lot of skills. You go to class every day. Each class is actually worth, even though you go one class a day, you have kind of two extra hours of extracurricular activities where you do drills and you walk around, you portray uh, per Oh, sorry, here we go. Drill team. Drill team are these uh, guns where they'll throw the guns in the air or you'll do the flag team for the high school. So let's see here. You can see some more information. So I'll link all these in the show notes. Of course, Reserved Officer Training Corps. Uh, there is in college. So <laughs> ROTC is in every college or not every college, but a lot of colleges. They're for each group, Navy, Air Force, Army, Marine. Again, you can see here the main point is uh, here in 2020, so ROTC, 70%, da, 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 Air Force, Navy, yes. So basically overall, yeah, 63% was Air Force for overall 56%. So 56% of all officers in American military originally were in some kind of RTC or ROTC program uh, training them. It more trains the military activity. It more trains ethics. And uh, you, do, you do memorize some stuff like in... Air Force One, I had to memorize the different airplanes, the shapes and the sizes and what's included in them. This is Junior ROTC, as you can see, this soldier, she's in a Pearl Harbor's one, Navy Junior ROTC. So, of course, I here's a flag team, yes, and they'll get to go to the different bases and stuff. Since I was in, also in Boy Scouts, a lot of my leaders in Boy Scouts were in the Navy, so I could also go to the bases. But anyway, yes, uh, the point is, that eventually you'll go to college. Uh, sorry, before that, I want to mention. Yeah, so I joined from 87 to 1990. I joined for three years. So I'll explain why only three years, not four years of high school. Is in 1987, it was just a year after this famous movie. Maybe you know this movie, Top Gun. So top, because of Top Gun, I guess, uh, ROTCs all over America became very popular. People wanted to go to the military. They thought it looked cool. Uh, interesting is, even though he's a pilot in this movie, so I wanted to be a pilot too, but not because of this movie. So actually, I didn't even see this movie until almost into my high school. So after I was already finished with Rutsi, but he and he's a pilot in this movie, but he's not in the Air Force. He's in the Navy, of course. Uh, so, but a lot of kids didn't understand that. They just saw him as a pilot. So they thought, wow, I want to be in the Air Force. I want to be a pilot in the Air Force. So it was very popular to join uh, Junior Razzi at the time. Eventually, of my 150 people in my group, I got I was so into it that I eventually became the second in charge of the whole group. 
so I was considered what captain, one of my students. So I was the second highest student leader. One of my friends was a major, so he was the highest leader. He later went on to the military. Uh, I didn't because I'll explain in a minute why. But before that, let's see, ASVAB. My favorite memory of this down, I'm going to put this uh, link to the show notes, is this is my favorite test or the best test I've ever taken, not the best that I scored on, but I did do well on it, but it's the one of the best tests I've ever taken to measure your potential ability. So I've taken IQ test or ACT, SAT, uh, things like that, English test. But this test is neat. Uh, what it stands for, Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test. Vocational meaning job. So before you can get a job in the military, in American military, you have to take this test. And then if you want to change jobs. So I think pilot, for example, you need at least a 50 on this test, uh, 50 out of 100. In order to be a pilot, you need a maybe 35 to enter the military. You need, a, if you want to be a nuclear scientist, I think that's on the top of the list. You need like a 97. Uh, if you want to be a military intelligence, which is like the military version of spy, you need to have a 92 or above 90. So it depends on the job, dentist or doctor, everything is different. They might be in the 70s or something. So, but anyway, it has nine areas here, which you should check it out. But luckily I did uh, well on it because uh, I I guess I enjoyed it. I took it twice, actually. First time I got 93 out of 100. And second time I got 97 out of 100. And because of that, I got recruited by a lot of different military because of that and my J. Roxy experience. But eventually, I hear J. Roxy. Yes, uh, here. So eventually I didn't go into the military because, uh, well, first I was going to go into the, uh, I was going to be a pilot in the Air Force. That was my dream. And I was studying Air Force, of course, in school, like these kids in uniform. But I found out that you can't be a pilot with glasses. <laughs> so if you have glasses or contact lenses, you can't be a pilot. So I had to change my plan. And then I was planning to be in the Navy. And then, uh, Unfortunately, because of my asthma, I was I couldn't be in the Navy. But I mentioned that is the that's why I actually quit. I didn't go four years of this. My last year of high school, I decided to change my focus and went a different direction. But those three years in this program, even to this day, I've always enjoyed that experience. This plus my Red Cross plus my Boy Scouts, I think, uh, made me who I am to this day. So I, I've always appreciated my experience in this program. So if you're ever if you in, ever in America, or I don't know if your country has this kind of program, I really recommend it, even if you're not going to the military. I think it's a very useful program. That's why, oh, sorry, let me see, where is it? Oh, yes, that's why uh, I really respect countries like uh, France, maybe, or Korea, or Israel, where people have to go into the military. It teaches you a lot about the government and politics and and respect for the country you live in, maybe. So not that I'm in favor of anything America does, but wherever you are, whatever country you live in, it teaches you to respect that country's culture and climate and politics and economics. So if you're Japanese, it'll help you. If you're Korean, it'll help to focus on Korea, France, focus on France. So I really respected that. And I, uh, in, and I appreciated uh, that civil aspect of learning about all that stuff when I was in it for three years. Okay, thanks again for watching, especially everybody who watched it till the very end. Uh, this was, again, a slice of pie. This was our hobby section where I talked about different hobbies I had. My uh, students always asked me, what have you done? And, of course, um, I'm an English teacher in Japan. I'm a university teacher, but I also have this channel where every day we teach some English. Don't forget to like below and give us a comment so we know what you're enjoying with these videos. And subscribe and watch these other videos that are popular on our channel. Thanks again. Have a good day. See you.